and hello. This is a new game I'm doing. It's um Dive to the Titanic. You can get this game quite easily off Steam for $29. Now, I'm about to do the first level. Uh I will do this just straight away, no fooling around because I've already tried to film this. This is the third time trying to film this. Each time it has failed. Maybe this ship is cursed. But, yeah. So, hopefully it's third time the charm. So. Yeah, where the hell am I going? Yeah. Uh, game, game. Oh, I'm in the settings, that's why. Also, there is music to this in the main menu, but I've turned that down. All the way down, so we can... Yeah, what the hell is? So, you can hear me better. And, uh, oh, right, start. I've also, um, figured out why my mic was so quiet. You can actually turn up the gain of your microphone. Don't do that, though, when you're listening, when you've got your microphone feeding back through to your headphones, trying to see if they work, and then turn the gain all the way up. Unless you want your eardrums to bleed. You have been warned. Ah, screaming, screaming, yes, I've gone through this three times already. What you think? You hear me? We're back online. Everything okay with you? One of those bloody currents got you. According to my displays, your submarine must be heavily damaged. And then the problem is, you're stuck. Do you understand? Your oxygen ran out. Probably a leak caused by the crash. Your batteries don't look that good either. Unfortunately, there's more. I'm afraid I can't help you. You have to free yourself. You get me? If you don't make it, then this is it for today. The wow, short game. Dusted. Over and out. <laughs> your final curtain. You have to free yourself. You hear me? Shock game. I'm already about to die. I'm stuck. Five days ago. So, yeah. It isn't actually dying. That's kind of a glimpse into your future, which is kind of depressing. I w I'll, I'll call a sickie on the fifth day. I go down there and I won't be in that situation. Muhahaha. <laughs> Do they ever think that? No. I will cheat my own death. <laughs> loading. Great, now I have a two hour loading screen, because that's how long it takes to get down to the wreck. Loading the loading bar. Eh, went well, day one. Whew. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. A I mean, thousand separate... meters time takes a while, doesn't it? You've yes. been on your way for almost two hours. You should reach the bottom of the ocean any minute now. Let's go over our task for this first dive once again. You have to find the wreckage, and then position the four transponders on it. One thing at a time, though. First, we have to find the old lady. Yes, Let's do a system old check lady. before we kick off. With the N key, you can switch to the cockpit and interior view. N. X switches the propellers in forward direction. Can you press the X key, please? By the way, you can check the drive on the display on the right side of your screen. You can navigate the boat with the arrow keys. With the upper arrow, you can move upwards. With the lower arrow, you we can get the idea. Down. With the left and right arrow keys, you can change direction. Press the four keys just to check. Okay, it works. Now, let's change the propeller direction to make them go backwards. If you could press the Y key, please, you'll see that the propeller stop. If you press Y again, they will rotate in the opposite direction. Check out if it works. Okay, looking good. To increase the thrust of the propellers, press yeah. the home key. Now, increase the thrust. 
And now, let's reduce the thrust. With that, please press the N key now. You can... Perfect. It works well. Now, let's do a quick check of the cameras. Fun. With the C key, you can go through all the available cameras. Ta-da. Looking good. I'll just do a quick check of the sensors. They seem to work just fine. Once again, make sure you keep an yes, eye on the display yes, on the right yes. side of the screen. It is very important. Oxygen. If any bar on this battery. side turns red, it gets critical. In that case, we better abort the dive before something goes seriously wrong. Yeah. Uh, if you're not really happy with those um, keys in the settings, you can quite easily modify them. I've had them you modified, can use to so the I to do this, used to. Press the E key. You should then hear a ping sound, which is repeated in a certain interval. I've modified the sonar a little bit. When it hits metal, it returns a somewhat muffled ping. The higher the volume, the closer you are. Hmm. Does anyone kind of like see all like all the like little bits of stuff? They're like almost like fish food. Now you'd go around in a circle pressing E, trying to get a ping. But because I've already done this three times, I've already done this, so I know which way to go. Basically, head in a northeast direction. By the way, I wouldn't go too fast because you kind of, the ship will lurch out of nowhere. On the first go, I nearly collided with it because all of a sudden the ship just lurched out of nowhere. But you, you know you'll get close when the guy starts talking again. Also, you'll get hit in the current, you know. In about half a minute, I'll get hit by a current and, well, you're getting close. Not to mention you have to listen for that sound. Do that sound. If you want to do this legitly, but if you're watching this video, chances are you don't really want to do this legitly and you need help. Hence you're watching this kind of tutorial. If you could call it a tutorial. I'm rambling. <laughs> it's either I'm not talking at all, or I'm rambling. Boom. Boom. <sighs> Just another day in the office. There would be the current. Don't worry, they're harmless until you get really near the wreck. Then they can push you into the wreck. While you're cruising back and forth down there, remember the currents. They can hit you at any time. Yeah. They'll throw your boat off course wherever they want. If you're really unlucky, they'll push you in front of a separate part of the wreckage. Just one tiny fissure, and the Titanic claims another victim. Down there, you're dealing with a water pressure of 430 bar. A tiny hole, and you and your submarine will be torn into tatters in less than two seconds. Thanks, this great morale me again booster. Of why it's not me sitting in that boat. Furthermore, you have to watch out for parts of the wreck sticking out, and also keep an eye on the wires. It's a total minefield down there. You can get stuck somewhere pretty easily, and then nobody can help you. If you're stuck, you have to free yourself. If you don't succeed, Oop. your power and oxygen will run out at some point. You can imagine what happens after that. Yeah, I get okay, the idea. this is the plan. First, we'll position the transponder. On our second dive, we're going now to he's going to explain to Titanic. you all the stuff. As far as our equipment allows for it, it's our goal to gather information and sell it to the right people. With the money, we can upgrade and improve our equipment cool. in order to advance even further into the Titanic. We've planned five dives in total. I hope you are not flaking out before. They say that you are the perfect person for this job. Let's get going. Okay then. And the ship should be coming into view soon. <sighs> I'd hate to be the guys actually in this actual confined space. Visibility nada. 
Like, I'm only looking at a screen in my bedroom. There you're, well, you can't move. You are literally stuck in this tiny little thing. Not to mention these things cost money. Lots and lots of money. Uh, come on! I'm not going to go too fast because I know I'll just come out of nowhere and crack. Any time now. Wow, this, this is the most boringest bit, and then I presume after the other levels are quite more interesting because you're inside the wreck taking photos and getting things, I'd imagine they'd be much more entertaining. I haven't played them yet. Come on. Yep, there was lag. Yep, there she is. She is. You can tell you're there when it lags now, that little bit. Now, the transponder. Okay, we'll do it as follows. I will navigate you towards the optimum position for the transponder. The places for the transponders are marked. Once yep. you see the markings, just drive over them with a submarine. The transponder will then be placed automatically. Okay, off we go. Let's start with the first transponder. I already know what I'm doing, so... You have to go south. Yes, now this is really annoying. This guy just keeps saying, move forward. I'm already going forward, don't go too fast, because I did just basically go for it, and I actually started taking damage. A little bit further. <sighs> and, yeah, just basically, now you're putting four little transponders, which will send out, like, a signal on the kind of four corners of the wreck. So then you know where the wreck is. Even further. Yes. Stop being annoying. Watch out for the seafloor, by the way. Last time I crashed into it. Just about there, where we are now. Those rocks there. Even further. I crashed into them. Hmm. Oh, did I crash into that? Yeah, I crashed into that. A little bit further. Oh, be quiet. Most annoying AI ever. Why couldn't I have, like, Cortana or something like that? That would have been cool. No, I have some guy up in a boat. Like, 300,000 whatever kilometers above me. Okay, that was the first transponder. Three to go. On to the next one. I already know what I'm doing. A little bit further. Uh, troll. I'm being trolled by a guy in a boat above me. I should just kind of sit here and wait until the oxygen burns out. <laughs> just crash the boat. Not the boat, the sub. Ugh. It's not a submarine. Yes, it is. It's not a boat. Damn, I'm confusing myself. Boom. Man, get it that in a jiffy. On to the third transponder. This is the longest one, because now you're going the whole length of the wreck nearly. Well, the You know, there are one so half. many stories about Titanic. There's no end to the tales and myths. Books and books filling up entire basements and dozens of films, and every single <laughs> one of them yeah. claims to tell the true story. Yeah, Nothing the film. The truth. Mm, and somehow, yeah. every truth is different. Yeah, the we will probably never really know what happened here yep. that night. You better form your own opinion. Don't, about don't it. watch it. After it's, all, it's you are one of the few who can get a live impression of the Titanic. Uh, Experts are still the arguing. Film. 
but between 70 and 200 years in the future, she will have decayed completely into nothing but a pile of ore. Nothing will be left of the Queen of the Sea. There's different people, kind of like people that watch the film. Some people watch the whole thing because they're in it for the story. Some people just skip to the, um, where it hits the iceberg and watch for them. Forwards. And then some people just want to watch two scenes in the middle of, kind of in the middle to the end of the movie. I'm one of the people that just skip to the part where she starts thinking. I just watch from there. I'm not in for the romance. Forwards. Somewhere in my DVD collection. I look to my left. Stare at a DVD and look at the screen. Someone going insane. Move forward. Down, up, down, up. Trying fresh. Yeah, boring bit. Pew. And another one back to the dust. One more. Well done. You are truly living up to your reputation. One transponder to go though. Move forward. Yes, move forwards. We are doing that. Okay. Move forwards. Just because I want to get this over and done with this first level so I can play the rest of the game. Full speed ahead. Although even on full speed this submarine still doesn't go very More fast. To the left. Happy. Does anyone notice where are these little little buoy things coming from. That was the last transponder. Great job at your end. By the way, I've got some good news. Our it's time to head up. Has just arrived. Or let me put it this way. Nothing's gonna stop our first dive into the Titanic now. Yeah. Great, isn't it? Alright. This is surface now. I'll put the champagne on ice. See you in a bit. Basically you just point the sh your sub up. And then you just drive for about another half minute, then it just fades to black. So this has been the first episode of Dive to the Titanic. Peace out.